The following is an arrival address given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 11th of August, 1975, in Paris, France. So, I am very much pleased to come to this village of France, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prediction that Prithivite Achi Jato Nagaradi Gram. Gram means village. Sarvatra Prachar Haive Morna. Everywhere the glories of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be spread. So, by His grace, we are doing that in America, Europe, Africa, Australia, village to village, town to town. We are preaching the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, why we are preaching? What is the necessity of preaching? The necessity is to make them happy. If we follow the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction, then our uh, life will be successful and we will be happy. And the process is very simple, chanting Hare Krishna. There is no very hard and fast rule for chanting Hare Krishna mantra. In any position, in any place, in any circumstance, you can very easily chant this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Even small children, they also take part, chant Hare Krishna and dance with the elderly father and mother. So there is very good potency if we simply chant this Hare Krishna mantra, the potency is, the first benefit is that our dirty heart becomes clean. We have accumulated uh, many dirty things within the heart uh, on account of bad association. The first dirty thing is to accept this body as self. This conception, bodily concept of life, is existing amongst the animals. It is existing amongst the animals that I am this body. So, actually, I am not this body. I am spirit soul. I am embodied within this body, material body. This is the fact. If we simply become aware of this fact, that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, I am living within this body. Then immediately we become liberated from this material world. And this can be understood by any sane man without any study of philosophy, simply by common sense. The simple philosophy is that the child is now possessing a small body, and then he will possess a big body, then another big body. In this way, the child is there, the body is changing. That's a fact. And the body changes so long the soul is there. Therefore, the conclusion should be the body and the soul, they are different. It is very simple truth, but because we have accumulated so much garbage, dirty things within our heart, we cannot understand even this simple thing. We are advancing in education, in civilization, and so many big, big words, but we are so dull that we cannot understand this simple thing. And to understand this simple thing is the beginning of life. 
Otherwise, without understanding this simple thing, to exist is just like the cats and dogs. The cats and dogs, they have no such thing as nationalism, thisism, thatism. They simply eat, sleep, have sex and defend. So this understanding is the first understanding for spiritual life that I am not this body. That is the beginning of spiritual life. And when we nicely understand this fact, that is called Brahma Bhuta Avastha or a self realization stage. So, what is the difference between self realized stage and doggy stage? Means bodily concept life. The difference is that as soon as you become self realized, you become jolly. This self realization is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Na Suchati Na Kaankati Sama Sarvesu Bhuteshu Madhvakti Ravati Pana. This self realization means as soon as we understand that you or I am not this body, I am spirit soul, then immediately we become jolly. And what is jolliness? Na Suchati Na Kaankati. A jolly person never lament nor desire. That is Krishna consciousness. He has no want and he has no loss. Material life means always want and always loss. And spiritual life means no loss, no desire, no hankering. So one can distinguish his spiritual life and material life by simple formula. This simple formula. Material life means always in want and always in lamentation. And spiritual life means no hankering and no lamentation. When one is fixed up in spiritual life, it is said, Guru Nabi Dukhe no Nabi When there is very, very acute reverse condition of life, one is not disturbed. That is spiritual life. And sama sarveshu bhuteshu, at that stage only there is possibility of so-called unity, fraternity, friendship. Eh? Your friends, you have got slogan, what is that? Fraternity, friendship. No, eternity. There is. Uh, equality, fraternity, and what other things? So, France is a very cultured country historically, but where is fraternity? The history we read that was seven years war with England, hundred years war with England. Uh, then Napoleon, he conquered, so all the parts of the, where is fraternity, eternity? Last time when I came in your country in Paris, somebody showed me one church. From that church there was ringing up the bell and immediately people would come and kill the Protestants or something like that. Is it not right? So anyway, on the material platform there is no possibility of equality, fraternity, and nothing. It is not possible. Unless you come to the spiritual platform, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna, there is no question of equality, fraternity. So in the United Nations, they are trying for that unity, United Nations. But where is unity? Every year there is a new flag. There is no question of fraternity or equality. Just like in animal life. There is no question of fraternity or equality. Similarly, if we keep ourselves in the bodily concept of life, that is animal life, so long we keep ourselves as I am French man, I am German man, I am English man, I am Indian man, or so many there are nationalities, there cannot be any fraternity, equality. 
we have come to the platform of Krishna consciousness or Brahma Bhuta, then there will be fraternity equality. And factually you can see in this moment all classes of men, all nationality, all religion, all color, they are coming together and chanting Hare Krishna and dancing. This so, is wanted. So don't be misled by the leaders of so-called eternity and fraternity. It is not possible. They are called andhādhathāndhai rūpuniyamāna. And just like a blind man is trying to lead other blind men. So come to this platform of Krishna consciousness, this fraternity and equality, also eternity. Eternity means that we living entities, we are eternal, never die or never take birth. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Now we have got French edition of Bhagavad Gita. You will find that. Have you got that book here? No. You will find in that book, Najayate namriyate va kadachit nitta shasatayang nahannate hannamani sarinde. You will find this verse that we living entities, we have no birth and no death. Najayate. So, if we simply understand one verse, uh, there are seven hundred verses, if we simply understand one verse only, as um, he has explained, then immediately we become brahma liberated. And that is the perfection of human form of life. A dog cannot understand. If I say to the dog, that you are not this body, you are spirit soul, you are eternal, he has no power to understand. And a human being can understand. He has got the capacity. So we are trying to educate all people, all nations of the world to understand this one verse. That's all. Najayati Vamdiyati Vakadachi if he simply understands this one verse, he immediately becomes liberated. And actually, human life is meant for understanding this philosophy or this truth. Then his life is successful. And as soon as he understands that we are eternal, we are not mortal, then naturally our inquiry will be where we can live eternally. That will be the inquiry. In the material world, as you are forced to take birth and death, so similarly in the spiritual world, the first advantage is there is no birth and death. That's the opposite. So our process is to train people how to go back to home, back to God. That is the only education required in this human life. So now, by the grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this movement has come to your country, and especially in a nice village like this, utilize it properly. It is a very ideal place. Not only this, there are many thousands of places like this, People should take advantage to live in such nice place, produce their necessities of life, and keep them fit and chant Hare Krishna and realize self. We don't say that you starve or become weak in health or weak in intelligence. No. You remain quite fit in intelligence, in world. But don't be unnecessarily in need. The difficulty of the modern educated person is not educated, but so-called educated. They are attracted in the city for so many things, unnecessary. Just like the club, the restaurant, the liquor, the cigarette, the so many things. 
But if your attention is diverted to Krishna, he will not feel inclined to enjoy all these unnecessary things. That is the test of spiritual life. That bhakti parasanu bhava virakti annatasya bhakti advancement of devotional life means no more test for all these nonsense. So you'll see practically these boys and girls, they are young men, young girls, they have got so many desires, but they have given up and they are able to continue like that because they are making progress in spiritual life. So read our books, chant Hare Krishna, live very simple life, eh? produce your own necessities, don't go to the town. Of course, for selling books you can go. <laughs> so our policy is not that to decry material advancement of civilization, but our instruction is that do not forget your real business, self-realization. Unfortunately, material attraction is so strong that it makes us forget, forgetting our spiritual necessities of life. So, this human form of life is given by nature for fulfilling our spiritual necessities. But if we neglect, then Jangjanga bapi smaran loke tajatantri kalevaram. So, in the Western countries, they are very much fond of keeping best friend, the dog. So, at the time of death, if you think of your favorite dog, then in next life you become dog. But you cannot surpass the nature's law. This is the nature's law. So, one gentleman, what is his name? Fisher, in Detroit, he had two dogs and he buried them in silver casket. So he was a very rich man and his house is very big palace. But at the time of death he was thinking of this dog and if he becomes dog next, then what is the value of this material advancement? Therefore, intelligent man shall always think of Krishna so that at the time of, if he is able to think of Krishna, his life is successful.